back to another episode of Terraria 1.2. As you can see, same as last time. Um, still in the same area. Haven't done anything. Right on. Um. Last time we were going through and just trying to f find some find something new from one um, kind of been a little one of those weird weird things like most of my videos for 1.2 so far have been about 40 an hour long like two of them are an hour three of them are 40 minutes and one of them is like half an hour I'm, like, I, I wouldn't blame anybody for not wanting to watch an hour long, or an hour of content, but at the same time, I'm kind of hoping, because, um, since I don't have a channel, like, um, like, I'm trying to think of how to say that, I'm partnered through YouTube, but I'm not partnered through, like, a, um, signer. I, I'm like a second class partner, I guess you could say. Um, I can monetize, but I can only monetize 100 videos. One, one thing I'm trying to do is not, like, just spam out 100 and, like, yeah, here's 150 uh, Terraria videos. Like, yeah, no, no, I'm trying, I'm trying to make quality content. Oh, not quality. But I'm trying to have decent, yeah, you sit down, this is what you're getting content compared to two hours later shenanigans. Or... 20 minutes or yeah like I'm, I'm I'd rather have you sit down and me tr talk to talk for an hour and a half and just be an idiot a five minutes of well see you next time and it's like yeah last time I was talking about well um well it looks like we've been going a while I'll guess I'll see y'all next time I think I actually got that joke from like a friend or video. Yeah, like I said, I'd much rather have y'all irritated at me because I recorded an hour long video and have y'all irritated at me because I recorded a three minute long video. He's pretty still straightforward. I, he, you buy bombs from him. Uh, I don't exactly know why it took him so long to eat. Maybe he had to go to his daughter's. Uh, he had to go to his daughter's tap recital. That's it. something to make him die, so I'm not sure what, though. Check that out in a little bit, though.
hear a heart. Um, don't know if y'all can hear it. One of these days I'm actually gonna have to sit down and, like, go through all... I know there's stuff I can see that you can't because of the way, like, the recording just darkens the screen. Like, like everything's dark. I, I don't know if it's the monitor brightness or... Just that the recording is dark, or recorder is darker, or what. Kinda wishing I had a magic mirror at the moment. One thing I am liking, I don't think I've mentioned it before, one thing I really am liking is the fact that they did change some of the basic stuff, like, um, like the pots and stuff, they, they have more types of pots. I, I like that, it's, hey, I've broken the same big fat clay pots, or clay jars, or whatever a thousand times, and they, they've given me something new to break. I kind of missed that song. Did a job. That's good. And it found me some ore. Take here and just throw down. Sounds like a good plan to me. Too many times, so. Anyway, uh, I keep getting sidetracked a little bit. Like, I'm, I'm getting focused because I'm enjoying the game. I keep forgetting to talk. Kind of a bad thing. But anyway, so let's talk about something new. I kind of did like talking about that whole uh, education thing. It's fun. Probably boring. So fun to talk about. Like, and I know for most people they probably don't give to But I kind of hope maybe one out of every ten people who hears something, hears it, talks to other people. That's basically the same thing. Agrees. More, probably a better word to say. Or at least thinks about it. Maybe says something of the equi of an equivalent to someone else. And every ten people they hear, one of those listens. Um, maybe we can actually have someone talk. Like, 
like, actually have someone affect something. Like, again, I'm saying I'm not trying to be all political here. I'm not trying to change anything. I'm not trying to make a new meta. Yes. Plain and simple. Need to be changed. And if nobody gets off their ass to insist that they need to be changed, no one's going to get off their ass to change them. Or does that new skeleton look kind of like, um... He looks like the guy from Pan's Labyrinth that had, like, eyes on his hands. Or was it counts on his hands? Like, his eyes were on his hands and his like, face was blank. Like, that's who that reminds me. things need to be changed, and I don't know, like, I like talking about stuff like that. I'm not trying to be an activist, I'm not trying to influence anybody. Like, I'm, I'm not doing this to become some big name. I'd love for this to become, like, a job, but I'm not, like, wanting to become, like, some philosopher or anything like that. saying things that I, I believe in that maybe some other people might believe in and maybe if you don't have anything to believe in it might help you decide what you believe in. I mean, everybody needs a bad guy. Everybody needs someone they can hate. And if I can be the guy that the person who cures cancer cured cancer because they hate then... At least I did my part, my part for curing cancer. Um, I, I know it's probably a weird way to look at it, but... I don't know, I've always just thought that you should always look on the good side of things. Um, if you don't get a job, then someone else got that job. Like, you, even if, no matter how much you want a job, if you're not the one who gets it, somebody gets it. And at least you can find some pride in knowing you helped someone get the job by not getting that job. It sucks that you didn't get the job, don't get me wrong, but sometimes you need a little bit of a pickup, and that pickup is, hey, someone got that job because I did it. But anyway, so let's see here. Something else to talk about for fun. Again, we're talking. I'm talking about stuff for fun. Um, what I'm gonna, what I'm talking about is semi-political. I'm not gonna hide the that. Like, it is my political opinions. It is my. I'm, I don't think I'm gonna go into my religious opinion. At least not here. Maybe during a vlog or something. Kind of got into those a little bit with the whole um, what is wrong and. I think that's probably that's a reasonable amount. I think more than that is preaching. And you didn't come here for preaching, you came here to watch Terraria. And listen to some idiot ramble while he played Terraria. 
Well, maybe not the idiot rambling. And if you've muted me, I don't blame you. If you're listening, then, kind of like I said, if I can inspire you to either think like me or think against me, then I feel like my job's been done. Opening eyes is very important. I know this is going to sound like a bat, the, one of the worst ways to put this, but I'm sure the people who followed Hitler thought they were the good guys when they were doing it. Hitler probably thought he was the good guy while it was going on. Like, while he was Hitlering, he probably thought he was the good guy. So, everybody who went against him, he inspired them by being Hitler. And that's... All the good things that came out of that. I hate to say it, but we kinda gotta blame him for being an asshole and screwing up. At the same time, that doesn't excuse all the bad things that happened, but... And I'm not trying to say... I'm not trying to say anything like Hitler was the good guy. No, I'm just saying that... Being inspired because someone's a douche is a legitimate form of inspiration. I have to be the douche who inspires you, then hey, I inspired you. I'd much rather be the cool guy who had an interesting idea that you never even thought of, or that I had a point of view that's so similar to yours that allowed you to kind of encompass our mutual opinions into making yours. That'd be a much better. I'd much rather be that cool guy than that douche, but if I have to be the douche, someone has to be the douche sometime. That is totally not how that was supposed to come out. Anyway, what was I saying? Um, yeah. So, let's actually talk about violence a little. We're playing a video game. Let's talk about violence in video games. I know, that's a touchy subject. Um, pretty much anybody who plays video games doesn't believe it exists. I agree with that opinion. I'm, I'm not saying it does. I completely agree. Violence, video games actually would are more likely to stem violence than or er, accelerate it. I have reasons for that, but plain and simple one is most people, like straight up, most people you see who commit violence. Um, everybody has, every country has their version. In the UK, you have the chavs, chavers, or whatever. In the US, you have your gangbangers. Um, also, you have your, like, skateboarders. Are up there, but not as... You expect a gangbanger to commit a crime faster than a, uh, order? But the skate, you, you still kind of expect a skateboarder at some point to commit a crime. It's just for skateboarder, it's more of you expect them to commit trespassing so that they could skateboard on Walmart parking lots compared to like a gangbanger. You kind of expect them to shoot someone. look at those. Whenever people attribute something to video game violence, it's usually to one of them. Not be again, I'm not trying to be like prejudiced against people because like I kind of said a little bit earlier, I was 
I had my time. I had my age where I'd skip school and do all that stuff. And you, you're kind of expected to do bad things when you're a kid. It's part of growing up. You, you screw up a couple of times. You make a fool of yourself. And you do stupid things. I'm out of torches. Yeah, it's just part of being a kid. You are expected to screw up. Um, you even have some people, um... If you, there's a... I guess now she's actually becoming a lot more famous, but, like, she's, she used to do the guild, um... Felicia Day. Um, basically, whenever she, like, you... Some of the things she's talked about... She was younger. She was actually, like, a high-end student. Um... I think she was homeschooled, actually. Uh, yeah, so she she was kind of high up in there in her education. I'm gonna go ahead and head back towards the towards my base so that I can kind of get rid of some of this. But yeah, she was like she was homeschooled. She was high in there. She didn't goof off too much. And then she was like, yeah, when she went to college, like, she she kind of had some problems with college, mostly because she didn't know how to be a kid. Like, she knew study skills. She knew, like, education. She was good educated. She wasn't, yes, I did say educated. But she wasn't really, like, a good student because she had trouble doing student things. Try to get him on fire. See, if I can die right now, how much I'm losing. Okay, but yeah, as I was saying, like she was homeschooled, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's just she had some pro like she didn't do a lot of the whole like. Um, go through a lot of those stages that a lot of us go through as kids. Rebellious stage. The I'm gonna skip school because school sucks stage. Or hell, my favorite. I'm smarter than you stage. That part about my I'm smarter than you stage. I can even say it now. It's like I, I was smarter than most of the people. Part of that. That's not me being a cocky son of a bitch. That's me saying straight. I, I was attending. Like I was taking AP. You're high, and like those are pretty much or like straight on. Like the in the schools I went to, or in the school I went to. Um, uh, AP courses were reserved for, uh, sophomores and juniors. Uh, seniors, of course, but, like, certain, like, you had to be a sophomore or a junior to get a certain one of the certain, um, and the seniors to get into the advanced, uh, AP. But I was taking AP, uh, in my 8th grade and freshman year, so, I was taking the, uh, like, I was literally taking all of the AP courses two years before I should have. So, compared to my classmates, I, I, at least academically, was much more advanced. Well, at the same time, I don't know what shit rules in football are. Um, I can't define how, I can barely even define how a ta what a tackle is in football. I don't know nothing about baseball. So, sports and social interactions... Yeah, if that was a class, I'd fail in five minutes. Hell, it might not even take me five minutes to fail that class. And that's just... I... I didn't prioritize social interactions. Food stuff like sports. I instead chose academics. Um, so, where everybody else was like, yeah, they could totally tell you the rule 
of a sports game, I could tell you the I could tell you how to find the circumference of a triangle. Yes, I did say the circumference of a triangle. That wasn't exactly a easy do because circumference is a measurement of roundness and triangles are a shape. Basically, it goes into the aspect of translating between two dimensional and three Just so you don't think I'm some type of retard. Like, that's literally translating between two and And I used to be able to do that. Like, I, I don't think I can do that anymore. I'm still out of it. Like, I haven't done that in. out of everything, and I thought I saw something. Like I was saying. But yeah. I keep getting sidetracked. But again, a lot of kids have their rebellious stages. And that's fine. The problem is, is that most people outgrow their rebellious stages. Most people outgrow their rebellious stages by usually getting in trouble. Some people just kind of mature past them. But usually, you get in trouble or something happens, and that's how you outgrow your rebellious stage. I had a friend who... I'm trying to think of how to say this without getting into too much... That might be personal. Um, I had a friend who liked to set fires. That's, that, that's kind of one of those things that most people can be... I can, I can see how that could be enjoyable. Every once in a while, setting something on fire is fun. And watching something burn is fun. Yeah, that's something most people... It, it's human. It's a human... Well, in his case, um, he ended up getting out of that habit when he accidentally set his own car on fire. He wasn't hurt or anything, and luckily, like, the fire got put out um, before anything major happened. But basically, um, he was sitting there, like, just kind of lighting some rags on fire so he could throw them in a dumpster. I actually wasn't there. Really enough. Um, one of those things, like, I wasn't there, so I'm, like, most of this is kind of third-hand. I was there for a couple of his things, so I know that, and I've, saw, I've seen the car after the fire, so I kind of, like, I'm not just talking, like, yeah, this is a rumor I heard on the internet one time, like, a katana cutting through a tank, but no, um, yeah, like, going through with it, he, um, ended up in a situation where he set his car on fire while he was trying to, like, prep up something for another fight. And he got his car, like, he was able to put the fire out, but in the process of putting the fire out, he basically ended up, like, having to, uh, like, he burnt his seat up, like, the front seat of his car was so burnt up that it, the, the entire seat needed to be removed, which was about a uh, $800, like, this one seat was about $800 to replace, um, and 
and like there were just some other things there. Um, um, he just he, he lost a couple of things, like he lost a couple of pictures and stuff that he really didn't want to look. At. Mostly personal stuff um, that I'm not gonna get into. Yeah, there were a couple of things that were lost in that event that kind of like it's like he's like yeah I probably shouldn't do this anymore. So he grew out of it basically because he got in trouble. Um, and that's what I was getting at is most people when they grow out like they have those phases. It's human. Most people when they grow out of them they grow out of them not because they want to but because something causes it. His case, he set fire to his car, and he's the he was the type of guy. His car was his prized possession. Yeah. Um. But back to what I was getting at. One problem is to in today's society, we have so many hobbies that are around. And if you don't have a hobby, you can watch someone else's hobby on YouTube or on uh, TV. Hell, um, there's this show, I can't remember what it's called, it's like Flippers or something like that, where it's basically a show where you watch people flip houses. I'm like, that's a hobby. That is, some, that is you spending your time watching someone else perform a hobby. It can be a very lucrative hobby, but it is a hobby nonetheless. Yeah, um, but, and they have so many cool hobbies, I mean, when I was growing up, what were hobbies? You could put a, you could put together a toy train, like you could put together a model train or some type of model, um, model trains are kind of one of those long time models, the same with like modeled airplanes and stuff, but, um, you could also do something like, um, model, like, um, I'm trying to think, like Warhammer 40k models were kind of big when I was growing up. Like, they were kind of reaching their popularity. Um, there were just similar things similar to that, like D&D, &D, Warhammer, all those. Uh, the paint paintable models, um, yeah, those were coming into their po own popularity. I'm trying to think of some other ones. But those are some low-end but expensive hobbies. The average person can't physically do those. It's just not possible. I'm not trying to say anything bad about it, it's just... If you don't have a decent income, or your family doesn't have a decent income, you can't spend! $600 on a unpainted model, and then go through and spend another $200 for the lead-based paint, which isn't very safe in general. And yeah, y you can kind of get what I'm saying from there. Um, some other hobbies, you had stuff like sewing, knitting, crocheting. I I've done a couple of those. Uh, Never been much of a knitter. I, I've tried. Like, I have knitting needles, and I've tried to knit. I, I can't knit. I can crochet. Uh, my grandmother taught me to crochet when I was a little kid. Um, again, it's one of those things I haven't done in years. Probably can't anymore. But at one point in time, I was actually pretty good. Um, and sewing. Uh, well, I think, personally, I think everybody needs to know how to sew. For nothing else, you can fix a hole in your pants. Even if you have someone else, you can give the hole, you can give your pants to and be like, hey, can you fix this hole for me? You should at least know how to do it, even if you're not the one who does it. Um, so yeah, I, I know some basic hobbies, but those are some, those ones are kind of cheap. Um, getting started can be a little bit expensive. Um, if you do crocheting, getting the different, like, Getting some basic crochet needles are cheap, 
but if you want to get some like hot like um, sizes uh, crochet needles and like size crochet needles can get up there and cost pretty quickly. Um, I've seen crochet needles that are like size packs that have like a lot of the different sizes. I'm not gonna go into like how many, uh, but and those can run anywhere from like 20 bucks for just a, a handful of needles to like 300 bucks for a bunch of needles. So yeah, hobbies, and those are the hobbies that most people have, most people used to have. Those were pretty much like everybody had like one of those hobbies up until the 1990s, really. Um, but then, in the 1990s, a lot of TVs, like a lot of TV shows became, hey, watch this guy's really cool hobby. So you had stuff like skateboarding. Skateboarding became a sport. It was originally a hobby. It was originally a hobby that was kind of a sport. But it became like a big sport when big famous people like Tony Hawk and um, I don't like this guy very much, like Marge LaBam or whatever. The guy who has a TV show where he makes fun, beats up his fat uncle or whatever. Yeah, a lot of people who, like, yeah, this is my cool hobby, and look at me do good at it. Well, TV shows like that pretty much ruined uh, hobbies for most people. I don't have any torches again. Whoops. Um, because, plain and simple, why should I sit here and crochet? Or why should I sit here and master chess when I could be out there getting on TV because I'm good at fall I look good when I fall off a skateboard or oh my god look at me I can do something amazingly stupid but it looks good and no I'm not insulting people for their hobbies I'm just saying some of them are stupid like um wow that was fast here, I can buy some dyes. Silver dye, or a dye bat. I have no clue what those do. Well, apparently that's used for crafting dyes. Hmm, I'm gonna stick with my melee speeds. hobby I saw, um, well, actually a lot of people start seeing this hobby because it got some movies, but the whole Jackass, like, movies. Well, Jackass movies are based on hobbies, like, basically are, th it's a it's a type of hobby where you do Jackass stuff. And, well, let's be honest. If you saw somebody doing something like that for real, you wouldn't be like, oh my god, that guy's totally amazing. You'd be like, oh my god, what a jackass. Aim is kind of good for that type of thing. Um, let's see. Wow, I got a lot of ore. Have any gold ore in here? I could have sworn I mined a bunch of gold. Sapphire's in there, got some emerald. Dynamite definitely need my Okay. But yeah. So But there used to be so many good but mundane hobbies in the world. 
they've pretty much like gotten turned off because people don't want them anymore. Because why should I do that when I can do this? Yeah, I mean, literally, why why would you want to do something lame and stupid when you could do something amazing and cool, right? I mean, if you've ever been in a situation like that, why would you want to why would you want to be second best? Why would you want to do the second funnest thing when you could do the funnest thing when you could be the best? And because of that, a lot of people have, well, taken up, taken up that side. Let's see. What do I need for gold? Come here, Seth. Let me talk to you. Or wood. I'm out of wood, really? Wow. Oh, cut down some trees. But yeah, like I was saying, um, so, like, you have so many fun things on TV that are literally just hobbies, and people want to do those. So why would I, literally, why would I waste my time volunteering at re the Red Cross or, um, learning how to sew when I could blow stuff up? Or skateboard or bicycle. Like, not for sport or for, like, for, but for fun and as a hobby. Well, the problem with that comes when, well, plain and simple, the problem with, the big problem with that comes when 20, 30 years down the line, everybody wants to be a skateboarder. Like, literally. You, you talk to a kid, it don't matter how coordinated they are, they're like, I want to be a professional skateboarder. Like, literally, if... They're either a nerd or they want to be like a professional skateboarder or a professional snowboarder or something like that. Well, the problem with that is, is a lot of towns, especially the small towns, don't have skateboarding facilities. Like, you get a lot of bigger towns, that's not much of a problem. But a lot of small towns don't have skateboarding parks. Don't have facilities where you can go skateboarding. And that doesn't sound like such a big a big deal at first. Because, hey, when I grew up, there weren't no skateboarding. Why would there be skateboarding facilities now, right? And that, that's kind of the thing. There's no reason for there to be skateboarding facilities. Because, or a lot of people don't think there's a reason for it. Because, well, I didn't need it when I grew up. Why do they need it now? But the problem with that is, is, well, times change. People want to do these things. And whether or not it's a good thing that they want to do it or not isn't my choice to, like, that's not my, my opinion. But since people want to do them, like, th there needs to be a place for people to do it at. The problem, which I keep alluding to but keep not talking about, comes when people don't. Like, they don't appreciate that fact. So, in today's society, we have a lot of people who are, hey, I want to play video games. That's great. You want to play video games? That's fine. We can set that up. We, You can get video games. What type of video game do you want to play? What genre of video game do you want to play? Do you want to play it on PC? Do you want to play it on a console? Do you want to play it on your phone? In fact, hey... You have this mainstream video game, we can probably find you a free or a cheaper version on your phone or through Steam. Like, oh, you want to play Call of Duty? Well, I can't get you Call of Duty, but I can get you shoot Shooter of Military or something like that on your phone for free. It's not as good, but it's something. Or, hell, Battlefield. The... the I can't remember which one it was, but one of the Battlefield games, no, Battlefield 3, the new one, was just on the Humble Bundle. 
I, I think I got like two copies of that at the time. Like, gave one to my friends. But that's a that's a sixty dollar video game. I got it for like five bucks. And yeah, you're, you're telling me that people like people aren't gonna want to do something like that. Size is good though. I can get a sword. That's a short sword though. Dang it! I just wasted a bunch of gold. No undo button. No. Okay. Um. Let's see. Silver broadsword. That's fine. It's not terrible. Do I have enough silver to make armor? E25, 20, no. I have enough iron to make armor. Anyway, like I'm getting at. Keep trailing off and I don't know what. Iron helms to defense, ancient iron helms to defense. The equipment. That bonus, okay. So, Ancient Iron Helm, I don't need to waste my iron. I gotta say. So, yeah, there's that. Everybody has problems. I'm, I'm not trying to say that... Like, I'm not trying to say that this would be perfect. Some people are assholes. Plain and simple. But for most kids... Um... Oh. The reason they do stupid stuff. Like, setting things on fire. Like, vandalism. Like, breaking an injury is because they're bored. Uh, they have nothing better to do. Why? Because they could sew, they could knit, they could play chess, they could play video games. When we were young, that's what we were forced to do. Like, oh, I could sit here all day doing homework, or I could play this video game. Or I could do something else. Whatever. Whatever I want to do, I could do. Why? Because I couldn't do it. I'd find a way. But today's society, kids are being taught that that's wrong. As long as they're being taught that. But hey, having imagination, that's bad. Why should you be having imagination? You need to. Like, doing stuff in the real world. You need to be getting yourself ready for real world type prop things. Why? Like, honestly, why should a little kid be preparing themselves for the real world? Like, oh, you're 12. Well, hell, call it, like, like, you need to get yourself ready for college and stuff. Like, why? Hey, that's kind of cool. Slicker jacket. I see. Yeah, there we go. I think there's a cartoon character that wears red, red brain slickers. Cartoon bear. Anywho. Yeah. So like I'm, like I was saying. Like, everybody gets taught. Like, everybody is different, obviously. So this isn't a perfect thing. But, um, yeah. When we were young, we were taught, hey, you have, if you want to do something, do it. If you can't do something, find out a way to either do it or do something similar. So, if we didn't have friends to play chess with, we'd program computers to play chess with us. It's depressing when it when you say it out loud, 
but it was what we did, and it was fun. That's how we lived. It's like, oh, how did computer chess happen? Because a lot of people were uh, bored, had no friends, and wanted to play chess. So they programmed a computer to play with them. That's how most AIs in video games were formed, because I didn't have friends to play with, so I made friends. And you have a lot of, like, this is gonna sound bad, because I'm basically gonna be bashing it, but you have that, like, uh, get up and play and move um, thing that's going on. Like, Michelle Obama keeps like, yeah, we need to get our kids active and get them moving. It's like, yeah, the kids need to be active. The kids need to be healthy. You know what else? Someone needs to be that dude who sits on his ass and gets back. Why? Because that's how, that's how we roll. That's how we work. As a, the human race, somebody needs to be that guy who just kind of is for a little while. And then when he gets all depressed because he has no friends, he, he invents robots. I mean, that's, that, that's what happened with Apple. That's what happened with Bill Gates. Somebody was depressed, or not depressed so much, but you have, like, two of the biggest, richest, smartest people in the world, um, Steve Jobs and Bill Gates, like, if you, whichever one you like, you probably hate the other, but you have to admit, they both were very important for the computer, and why were they good for the computers? Because they had not that many, fr they didn't have that many friends to just go hang out with, they spent time with computers. They they were high, they were one like I think one of them was a high school drop no they were both college dropouts never mind so they they dropped out of college they had nothing better to do they made computers why because it's what they did well today's society every kid's basically being conditioned that they're going to be some big football star it's like oh my god you're you're gonna be like a very famous football star. And that could be either version of football, American or uh, European. Like, yeah, you're going to be a famous sports star, or you're going to be a famous musician. Like, no, no, you, you're subpar, possibly average. You're not going to be a famous musician. Now, you might be able to get into college on a music scholarship. That'd be great. You're not going to become some famous musician. And even if you do, if you start acting like a dick, you're not going to be a famous musician for long. But everybody's like, literally, if you look at some little kid at the mall, what do they want? Their, like, their mom can afford it, or their dad can afford it, they get it for them. And it's like, oh my god, you like, my kid's such smart, he wants a drum set. He's gonna be a big rock star. Like, no, no, your kid's probably just gonna be some idiot who smashes on a drum, breaks it, and then never touches a drum again. Or, gets the drum set, and then just straight up never touches it. Now, I'm not saying it's impossible for your kid to be a savant. I'm not saying it's impossible for your kid to be a music star. It's unlikely. Let's be honest. The, the likely odds, there are, what, 23... No, like, in America, there are about 23 million, I think? That, that number could be way off. I'm just pulling a number out my ass. Um, hell, like a million... Definitely more than that. There's like six billion people in the whole world. That's nice. That's a lot of people. You know how many pe how many people are famous in the whole world? Not not even a fraction of that. Well, I mean it is a fraction, but not a good fraction. Like there there's let's say um there's about six billion people in the world. There's about Maybe a hundred million famous people in the world? That seems like a big number, but a hundred million? That's what? One six let's see. That's about a sixtieth of the population? No, oh, that that can't be a sixtieth, is it? About a sixtieth of the population. And let's be honest, that's being very liberal with your act of fame. Like 
that that could be your you're a weather person famous. Like that's not even like you're a superstar famous. That's weather person famous. And that's that's a one in six like one out of every sixty people will be famous enough to be on local television. Yeah, that that kind of tells you something. Like there aren't a lot of jobs. I'm not saying don't strive and try. I'm just saying shouldn't be filling our kids with expectations of grandeur and well straight up we couldn't attain that grandeur what makes you think they can do it anyway but no back to what I was saying I kind of off trail there but no there are a bunch of kids who are getting bored because they want to do stuff but they, they physically can't um, for different reasons um, there are no skate parks in the local area, so they can't skateboard. Um, there are no, there are no decent sports teams for their school. Um, a lot of schools are pulling out music in exchange for sports programs. And yes, I understand why that is. That's because the sports programs usually pay for the schools. Um, got into a big argument with somebody about that the other day. Well, not an argument. We kind of just were talking about it. And kind of, like, he was for sports, and I was saying that it's kind of stupid. Because, well, high schools charge to you to go to sports. I want If I want to go to the local high school's football game, it's going to cost me 30 bucks. Like, if I buy a ticket at the school, like, a week beforehand, it's going to cost me, like, 10 bucks. But it's, like, 30 bucks to go to the local sports, like, go to the local sports team... Like, it's like 20 bucks for a ticket and then like 10 bucks for a, like a hot dog or something. Like, it's 10 bucks for a hot dog and a drink, I know that. I don't know the exact, like, price splitting between them. Like, hot dogs and a drink is 10 bucks. Um, so yeah, that's 30 bucks to go see a local sports team. Th that's not worth my money. I'm gonna be straight up. 30 bucks? 30 bucks, I could buy a video game? Like, first, I could buy a sports video game. I could play football a hundred times. I could play baseball with a hundred different teams. I could play soccer with the, the most famous soccer players in the world. So why would I want to waste 30 bucks to go see some kids playing a game not very well? Well, I mean, I can understand if you have family there, but... Like, that's just, that's my point. It's like, you go there for the family, you don't go there for the thing. But at the same time, you're still spending 30 bucks. And what's that 30 bucks get? Well, that 30 bucks pays for pretty much everything for the school. Like, schools have sports teams that pay for their music departments, that pay for their art departments. And that, that's kind of sad, but that's not what I'm getting at. Um, but yeah, so, if you don't have good enough facilities for your sports team, you don't have good enough facilities for whatever you want to do, well, that's when you start getting into things that you probably shouldn't. A lot of vandal vandalism happens for the simple fact that, well, there weren't enough things, like, you couldn't paint on a painting easel at school because your school dis discontinued uh, art for more sports. Well, there are reasons for that. The needs money. Sports gain money. Art is a waste of money. Well, it's not a waste, but it's a drain. So, would you rather make money or lose money? Well, they chose to make money. Well, because you can't, ha you don't have a painting easel to paint on, why not use that dude's car? I mean, it sounds like a good idea at the time. But it turns out it's really not. And most people, again, like I said, most people will grow out of those phases. But a lot of them are caused by um, going through and being bored. Now, let's make this full circle, because you probably don't remember what I'm talking about. Because I've kind of been just ranting for the last however long this has been. Let's go a little bit full circle with this reason why I kind of went through and basically did the whole violent, or, uh, boredism cop being bored causes vandalism because 
Well, plain and simple. What's a big form of vandalism? Violence. Vandalism of someone else's body. A lot of people don't think about it as vandalism, but literally, I cut something into your body is basically the same as I cut something into your car. Just it kind of hurt more when it happened. Well, let's see here. Why would someone commit a crime? Why would somebody commit a violent crime? For more. I hate to say it, but that's why violent crimes happen. Not because something desensitized you to violence, it's because you're bored. Now, it takes a certain person, or a certain type of person, to commit a crime, to commit violence because of boredom. But, it's not that far out there. For most people, in fact. That's weird. Okay, there's some gold over there. I don't know if y'all can see it or not. But no, like I was saying, so it takes a certain type of person. I I'm not saying that everybody's going to just go, like, oh, I'm bored, it's time to go mass murder. Or it's time to become a serial killer. But if someone's busy, they're less likely to become a serial killer. Just a fact. That, hey, people with jobs, like, normally, what makes a serial killer? Someone who's, like, if you look at any profile, it's someone who's either unemployed, like, one of the big profiles for a serial killer, serial killer, or a mass murderer, are boredism. Like, boredism. Why do I keep saying boredism as this word? Is that a word? Being bored is, like, the biggest cause. It's like, oh, they have a mundane job that they think they're too good for. They have some sort of problem dealing or coping with social... Like, that's one of the reasons why uh, so sociopaths and psychopaths are, like, thought to be interchangeable. Uh, because, well, they have problems with social interaction. You can have problems with social interaction and not want to kill people. You can just be nervous. a lost girl. She's killing me. I guess she's a lost girl like Peter Pan. But anyway, as I was saying, um, oh, Nim. Maybe there actually is, like, a lost girl or something, like, somebody you can save that's a little girl. And some, sometimes it's a nymph, some actually a little girl. Not little girl, but lost Anyway, but yeah, so sometimes you get into, like, situations where you're bored. Um, now, for the average person, boredism doesn't doesn't really go into violence, but, well, what sounds more fun? Mass murder or setting fire? Right? Would you rather set something on fire where somebody, people are going to be safe, you can ensure they're going, people are going to be safe, no one's going to be hurt. or would you rather go out and murder? Um, 120 people. Right? Of course, almost everybody is going to pick set something on fire compared to kill 120 people. Like, that's not even a question. Note, if you pick kill 120 people instead of set something on fire, you might want to see a shrink. Now, 
I'm, I'm, I'm not claiming any medical knowledge or, like, any psychiatric knowledge or anything. I'm just saying, you might want to seek help if you chose setting, killing people over setting fire to just some random thing. Small note. But anyway, back to what I was saying. So, you go through. At the same time, let's do that same thing again. Would you rather set fire or kill a hundred people? Note, killing a hundred people is in a video game now. Well, then you're gonna rather kill people than set something on fire. Why? Because it's fun to kill people in a video game. And no one gets hurt. So, like, yeah, setting fire, someone might get hurt. Like, that's the, that's the problem with setting a fire, is somebody might get hurt. And normal people kind of don't want to hurt people. That's the reason why you picked setting the fire over killing people. Because you, you don't exactly want people to be hurt. Now, sometimes you might feel like you don't care if somebody gets hurt, but you don't want someone to be hurt. I mean, hurting people is normally considered bad. Even amongst sociopaths, hurting people is bad. I mean, once you get to the psychopaths, then you, you have some other problems. Yeah, hurting people, bad. We can agree on that, right? So, setting fires, better than killing. Killing people in a video game, better than setting fires because there's not even that option of people getting hurt. Well, then you have the news media. News media twists things around, right? So, news media forgets that last part of what I said. Hey, would you rather set a fire or go kill people? That's great. You'd rather set the fire than kill people. Well, instead of saying, hey, you'd rather set a fire than kill people, They're, the news media is just going to turn around and be like, yeah, this peop these people said they wanted to kill, th these people said they wanted to go around setting fires. Well, no, that's not what it, the, that's not what the options were. The options were, if I could either do, two, if I could only do one of two bad things, I'm going to do the thing that people might not get hurt during, compared to just going out and killing people. Uh... That's not, that's not good news. That's not how things are going to look. At the same time, then we have the would you rather set a fire or go kill people in a video game. Well, now you're having people say, hey, this person said he wants to kill people in the video game. He's not playing the video game for fun and playing the video game. He's, killing the, he's playing the video game to kill people. Well, again, that's not, what we, that's not what we said. But that's what the news media says. And that's kind of the problem. I know, it was kind of a long circle, I kind of sidetracked a lot, but it kind of had a little bit to do, or it kind of had a bit to do with what I was saying, what I was trying to get at. But yeah, news media is the big problem there. Um, now, it's not completely news, it's kind of also people who just kind of don't understand, but at the same time, I mean, for the most part, hey, you're not violent. Why do you play video games? Why do you kill people during video games? Because it's something to do. You're not exactly going around killing people in, in Saints Row because you're some bloodthirsty asshole who just wants to kill people. No, you're doing it because that's how you play the game and you're bored so you want to play a game. Um, it's kind of like chess. Well, you don't go around killing people's knights and pawns in chess and killing their queens just because you want to kill their queen. No, nobody wants to just go up and kill some guy's queen. But at the same time, I'm bored, and I don't want to lose. So I'm going to play the game. That was a really long way to do that. I should probably just, like... Not going to, no offense. Um, I actually kind of like talking, and... Especially talking about something like that. I mean, it's fun. I kind of got sidetracked a lot, but, I mean, I tried to keep on point for the moment. At least loosely.
skeleton. I'm going to check my time. I think I've been talking for about... I want to say I've been talking for about 20 minutes now. I'll check that in a second. Gonna check it after the skeleton, but gold. Gold in this dare mountain. Lots of gold in this dare mountain. I'm gonna go check that real quick. Part four is up. Five is up, actually. Um, as of recording this, uh, part four and part five have actually finished uploading. I've probably been doing this for a while. Um, yeah, I've been over in here for over an hour, so I'm going to end this recording, and I'll be back in a few.